Well, we are getting all set for a cozy weekend in. Yes, we are. We were just talking about how cozy we were. I know. <laughs> Film critic Bonnie Laffer is here. What have you got for us coming Oh, there's up? just so much to watch. It's ridiculous. But let's start with a brand new streaming service. It's called Viaplay. Okay. It's from Sweden. And they have a new series. It's a dramatic series, a six-part series on Boris Alming. Like, Come on, one wow. of the best players of the Maple Leafs. Yeah. Like, seriously, I mean, I grew up with this guy. So even if you aren't a huge Maple Leafs fan, you're going to love this series. It's so cool. You learn you learn about when he comes over from Sweden. Uh, our buddy Jason Priestley. Like, yeah, I know. I you have a my big favorite. massive crush on him. I, I know do. that. Yes. Well, here he is. He's playing <laughs> Jerry McNamara. Jerry McNamara was working for the Leafs at that time in the 70s where he would go and scout and find yeah. players. So okay. he brought over Boris Salming, played, by the way, by uh, by Walter Skarsgård. Yes, one of the Skarsgård brothers. How wow. many are there? I've lost count. They're uh, like the Baldwin anyway. brothers. They just keep appearing. Right? <laughs> they just keep multiplying. I don't know. But he's <laughs> phenomenal as Boris Salming. It's really, really good. So I had the opportunity to talk to. Wow. Um, Jason Priestley about playing Jerry McNamara and how hard he had, a, a, you know, trying to find some information mm -hmm. about him. So let's have a listen to him. Uh, it, it was hard. It's very hard. There's not a lot of information uh, about Jerry out there. But uh, but during the uh, the Ballard documentary, I got to spend a half a day with Jerry while yeah. I was interviewing him for that uh, for that interview. So I. Um, so I, I, I you know, I, I, I learned a lot about him uh, during uh, that day. And uh, and I was able to find I was able to find some things about him online and um, uh, some interviews and stuff that he had done, like with, you know, with Dave Hodge and guys like that. Um, so it was uh, so I was, you know, so I was able to, uh, you know, sort of piece together his speech pattern and his and his voice and, you know, where where he was at back then. And um, so I so I that's that's what I based all my research on. Great. He's so Canadian. Oh, he's just so lovely. Yeah, nicest guy. So yeah. that's Via Play. Check it out. It's a new streaming service, and in this series, I can highly recommend it. Okay. So, really enjoyed it. Okay, Hannah Waddingham. I mean, mm -hmm. who doesn't love. Hannah Waddingham, hello people, you know, she's been in the she's been in Game of Thrones, but of course we all know her from Ted Lasso as Rebecca. The best. Uh, she's so wonderful. Uh, she has a brand new special on Apple TV Plus now streaming. It's Hannah Waddingham Home for Christmas. And she goes to the London Coliseum and does a good old-fashioned, amazing variety show. This is so, so much fun. She's so talented. There's nothing this woman cannot do. I can't wait she, to watch this. She's gorgeous, she sings, she dances. And the best part for Ted Lasso fans, every single one of the castmates are in this. So I, what I asked her, um, look I, at her. I know she is. She's it's just, brilliant. Uh, and her, by the way, this is shot in the London Coliseum. Her mother was an opera singer and used to sing there. I'm not surprised. So, yeah, so her parents were in the audience, and oh. I asked her, like, how did you keep it together, like not breaking down? But I did ask her about working with the Ted Lasso, you mm -hmm. know, uh, her buddies, and who has a great little song and dance with her, Phil Dunster, who. Of course, paid Jamie yeah. Tart, one of my favorite soccer players on the show. Yeah, so let's great. have a listen to what she has to say. <laughs> Isn't he just a total dreamboat? I mean, physically, vocally, just gorgeous. And it's so lovely because he's very unassuming. And, yeah. you know, he plays up and is silly with it. But, but I could sense that he was nervous and wanting to do well, and that's such a charming thing about him. And I love that we managed to get him and two of my oldest, dearest friends in the world, Scott Baker and Patrick Davey, and our voices. It's very rare for you to have a quartet. Yes. And yes. we, you know, we barely got to sing together, but all our voices blend so beautifully. And I'm really, I'm thrilled that that point in the show is clearly about friendship. It's not about who's famous, who's not famous. It's just four friends hanging out. It's like it could be round your round your piano in a house. She's just so fabulous. Oh, she's lovely. So yes, <laughs> Apple TV Plus, Home for Christmas. Watch it this weekend. It'll put you in the mood. I totally and am. Holiday spirit. It's so much fun. Okay, we have to talk about The Crown. Yes, they we've just been uh, buzzing yes, about it because Netflix just dropped the four episodes, like season six. Mm -hmm. This is the end, my friends. Like mm -hmm. this is the end of The Crown. Uh, so the four episodes that are streaming now are all focused on Princess Diana yes. and leading to her untimely death, of course. Um, so sad. But Elizabeth the Becky, who plays Princess Diana, oh my she's God, she's so on. good. She's, she's so so good. good. Um, I have. 
had the luxury of getting the five out of the six last episodes, which will be dropping in December 14th. I've watched them. And? Um, I can't, uh, they're amazing. They're amazing. <laughs> I know. I've broken my, my, you know, whatever. It's all good. They're amazing. They haven't given me the last one. It focuses a lot. Um, Imelda Staunton, every time I watch you, she's so good as the queen. Mm -hmm. I have to say about The Crown, casting from season one to season six has been so spot on. Yeah, I don't know fantastic. what you think, but I, I, I just, agree. Yeah, just, just amazing. They've done um, an incredible yeah, job. Yeah, so you look forward to that. So you can watch the first four and then the other six are all coming. Right. Yeah, well, thanks, Bonnie. Go. It is always such a pleasure. My my pleasure. Now Happy holidays. Thanks. Same to you. We've <laughs> got you. some good shows to binge Absolutely. this weekend, Lots Brian. Lots to watch.